here's what I want to do. First thing, I'm going to drag in a chat input and an output. This is going to be the way that I'm going to communicate with my agent, right? Um, and you'll see how that works in a moment. Now, you notice that one of the options here is agents. So I can just drag an agent over. And then within an agent, you'll see that there are a set of model providers, right? There are some main ones here, things like OpenAI and Anthropic and Grok and stuff. Now, all right, just to get started, I'm going to take my chat input. I'm going to wire it up to the input of my agent. And then I'm going to take the agent's response. I'm going to wire it up to the chat output. So when we're talking about this agent, what we're really doing is there's logic that now encapsulates the model, right? So there's there's planning and reasoning, there's short and long-term memory, uh, there's the ability to work with tools, right? Um, so, so it's these capabilities that then add on to what the large language model does. And that's what we're doing here when we use this agent component. Okay, so now I've got it basically wired up, but I need some tools. You'll see this here, this little tool node. If I click on that, by the way, you'll see that it'll filter on tools uh, on the left-hand side. So you'll find that there are not only all sorts of tools that exist that have been built as tools, but a lot of the components here in Langflow can be put into a tool mode. So let's do that real fast. So in this example, what I want to do is I want to bring in uh, the URL uh, component, and then I can click on it, and I can put this in tool mode. And what's super cool about this is that it allows me to just wire up the tool to the tool. See those nodes? They just wire up. And now this agent has access to a URL tool that can actually go out in the internet and pull data from external sites. OK, great. And then the other one I want for this case is a calculator. Now, by the way, uh, for those of you who are looking at the, uh, the simple um, uh, the simple agent template, this might look familiar because it's exactly what that is doing. But I, right, And then it's the same thing here. Notice that for my calculator, when I put it in that tool mode, I can go to edit tools. It's got a name. It has a description. Again, these are this information is what that agent LLM is going to use to figure out what tools do what. All right, great. So we have a basic agent. Let's ask it something or tell it something. In this case, I'm going to say convert. 200 USD to the Indian rupee, right, to INR. Now, let's see what it does. Now, notice right out of the gate, what did it do? Did you see that URL fetch content? It actually went out and got the latest exchange rates. And you can see these exchange rates all here, right? And then it was able to, that is the actual correct value, it was able to correctly calculate that the conversion right now, right, 200 USD is approximately 17,366 INR.